Postgres has native full text search support, but it's actually limited to alphabet and digit based languages. If you want to perform a full text search in a non alphabet based languages, then pgrunga might help you. pgrunga is a Postgres extension for creating indexes that's suited for full text search, including languages that are not alphabet based like Japanese and Chinese. Let's see how we can use them. So I have jumped into a new Subaris project, and we can get started by enabling pgrunga in our project. We can go to database, extensions, and we can search for pgrunga, and we can just hit this switch, enable extension, and we are ready to use pgrunga. Now let's create a table that we can work with. For this, I'm gonna go into the SQL editor, paste a statement, and run it. And just like that, we have a mammals table with a ID and some content. Let's also add some dummy data. Let's go to new query, and with some editing magic, I can paste this SQL statement that inserts a bunch of dummy data into the mammals table. Let's run this query, and we have some data in the mammals table. Notice that the last uh, row that I'm inserting contains some Japanese texts. Now, in order to take advantage of pgrunga, we need to set an index on the content column of the mammals table. So let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new query and paste this uh, create index statement. Notice that we are creating a new index on the content column uh, using pgrunga. Let's run this. And we have an index ready. Now, finally, we can get started with performing some searches. Let's open a new query, and I'm, I'm gonna paste this uh, SQL statement. And notice that we have this uh, unique operator in the middle, and this operator is the uh, full text search operator reserved for pgrunga. We can pass in the keyword that we want to perform the search with. In this case, we want to search for gurunga. And let's actually try to run this query. And as you can see, we got some search results back. It looks like all of them contain the word gunga in it. We can also try to pass in some Japanese keyword. For example, this one. And we can verify that the uh, word that we were looking for is contained right here in the middle. If we want to search for multiple keywords, we can just pass a space separated string as the keyword. For example, PG runga, uh index. Let's run this. And we can see that we got back a content that contains the word pgrunga and index. And that's how you can perform full text search on multiple languages using pgrunga. You can wrap these SQL statements in the Postgres function in order to be able to perform full text search from the client side. Don't know how to create a Postgres function? Well, you can watch this video to learn how. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in another Superbase video. Bye.